Hello everyone. Back again with doing this all over again. <laughs> Number two try on this. My phone keeps ringing and ringing and oh my goodness. I can't get a video. Um, this is number three, number three of my D stash. And um, this fabric is fabric that Trina gave me. And I had just enough to make this cover. And th so this one is, um, it's just like eight and a half, maybe, no, eight and three quarters, because I had to cut a little bit shorter to make it fit the fabric. And I sewed around it like I did on all the others. Did this beautiful little snippet for the front with a flower I embroidered and um, Tim Holtz Girl vintage buttons, some little pieces of a little bit of everything. <laughs> I love them. And it has the same closure. This was an actual piece of um, linen that came with a bunch of embroider on it that I used a long time ago. So I just ripped up the linen and used it as the closure, which they're sewn on. Inside the pocket, I had just this enough for the front and the back to be, I have so much stuff under here, oh my goodness, to be pockets. So I um, just folded it over, sewed along the edge, and then sewed it on the whole entire journal. And this journal is number three D stash journal. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I've already just, it's just crazy. And here again, I just took this piece of cardstock I had and I just sewed all, laid the stuff on there and sewed all up and down it with a zigzag and an uh, index card. And this one I cut off so I could tuck it in here and put a little tiny Tim, tiny uh, Tim Holtz <laughs> paperclip. Good Lord, can't get my words out. Oh my goodness. And I did um, all these little fabric tabs, put them on with the Tiny Tim stapler. And here on this side, I made a paper clip out of some leftovers and put a little Hermelinda tag. And then this one right there. Paper my sister gave me. It's like thicker paper. I love it. Um, Tsunami Rose. Some advertisement page from the 50, 1953. And here is a journaling. Oh, this goes like so. These two. This is one I made. And this is a um, from the envelope maker. An envelope. I'm Trina actually made this one. Snagged it from her and I punched it with my punch. With this punch right here. I don't know if you can get that one anymore. Super love that one. Took me forever to find that. Oh, I love that punch. And this is a leftover piece of vellum I found in my stash. Super cute. You can glue it anywhere in the book. Make a little pocket out of it. Over here. Another little zip zip. I don't know what you want to call those. Uh, I want paper snippet. That's what I'm going to call them. Paper snippets. And I just glued that little guy on there. This is from the old curiosity shop. I got some stuff from her. And like I said, I instead of I cut started cutting it out and I'm like, no, what am I doing? I gotta use my stash first. And so there is a couple newbies, but not very many. Because I stopped cutting and decided to go on this little tangent of D stash before I get anything new out. Another paper snippet with these three. And some vintage paper. Paper out of the Ideals magazine that I have. And this is another one, paper snippet, and I just glued her on top. And I just glued that little image on this little tag. And inside. A leftover piece of cardstock. I made a tag. And then these three. This is leftover Tim Holtz there. Artie Mason Dreams, etc. This is Daphne Diary magazine that I love. And then I have these are Artie Mays. This envelope, I burnt it. 
on accident. So I cut the top off and just used it as a floating envelope and put one of her little journaling cards inside. And this is another paper snippet pocket or tuck, whatever you want to call them, paper snippet tuck spot. And instead of cutting this off like I normally would, I just folded it over and made a pocket so I don't have any more leftover snippets. And this can be glued in the book anywhere you would like as a journaling spot. And so can this. You could do anything you want with these, actually. I will leave that up to whoever gets this journal. I figured that would be fun for whoever buys them to be able to make their own little spots. Leftover snippet, some leftovers. And in the pocket is a lot of Artie Mays. And I have a bunch of these that Miss Vonnie sent me, and I keep forgetting to use them. So I finally moved them into my vision so I could use them. <laughs> and this one smells so good. It smells like cinnamon. That was gifted to me by Terry. And a piece of vellum left over from Dreams Etc. And I put this little tag inside, in which you could take out and put it, staple it on and make it as a tuck, write on it, journal on it. Do whatever you would like to do with it. A little banner tuck. Another envelope from Artie Mays. And don't, I think that's Ephemera's Vintage Garden. And I sewed around this little banner. And this is a tuck. And you can tuck behind the children and under the flower. And inside are these two. And this bag... It's not really a bag, it's an envelope. I have a bunch of these, and I haven't made any journals this size lately, so I just cut that off right here and right here and made a pocket out of it. You can journal on it. I love the color of it, so that's what I'm going to do until those are gone. Use those up. And there's also a, a vellum tag. Can you see that? There's a vellum tag in there. You could sew some paper to it, make a, a tag you can journal on. And this little lady comes out. You can glue her anywhere in the book you would like. And I just tucked her in there like that. And we have these. And over here, Artie Maze and another little snippet. The other side, here's a bag within a bag. And you can glue this bag down as well. And you can decorate this part and use this as a tuck spot and put lots of goodies inside. Or you can put it in another book. You can do so much with this stuff. But I will let you decide what you want to do with it. A vintage Yahtzee. This is a really old one. Even though you can get new ones. That one is not a new one. That is an old one. And I just used my Tiny Tim stapler. and Which is this for y'all that don't know. And it's really tiny little staplers. I just call it Tiny Tim. And I have had these tags forever, so I'll just put them in there. And here is a um, cardstock tag I made. Graphic 45 postcard, which is amazingly beautiful. And then a, yacht, or a bridge scorecard. Ah, some tsunami rose, coffee guide. And a black tag. And just a little snippet with a little flower. And here is a paper snippet. And she's a tuck spot as well. And I just put this little thing, butterfly, in there. And leftover piece I made a tag out of. And I just put those under there like that. And it's amazing how these actually just hold all that stuff in there. It's so cool. I love it. And these, I've had the most fun making these. Like I said, they are just super fun. This is a stamp Trina had. And she stamped this out for me. And I just put this there. I sewed all around this little tag right here. And this flips out. And I made her as a little tuck spot. And I sewed all around and glued that little pom-pom trim on. And this side is actually glued right here for this tuck spot. I love the way the sewing makes everything feel. These Artie Mays, Ephemera's Vintage Garden, or Dreams Etc. I can't, Dreams Etc? 
Oh my goodness. See, I need to use this stuff up because I've had it for so long that I don't remember. I know that that's not old. But I love that little cute, tiny, tiny, tiny fabric tabs. Another little paper snippet banner. And a bridge junior or jumbo junior contact contract bridge score pad. That's what that's it. And a journaling card. And over here is another one of those super long tags that I just stapled with my tiny Tim. I made a little tuck right there. Put that in there. And this is a little envelope and I sewed this little vellum piece from our um, dreams etc on and you can just you can tuck behind the vellum too and put whatever you would like in there like that and over here i stapled this one down and put this journaling that's a party maze and this is one of those this is some vintage um, school paper that I found at a garage sale last summer. And I just bent it. And I made one of those um, matchbook thingies. And just sewed that on there. And put it in there. And over here is this I actually found at the same garage sale. This, these little pockets. And I put this journaling card inside it. And this is from the Curiosity Shop. And I made a tuck spot, sewed around that, and put Sue Olson's dress form in there. Love those, they're so cute. Like that. And then this journaling card. I love these too, they're super thick. Whoopsie. Super thick. I can't remember where I got those. I want to say junk that treasures, but I'm not sure. And here's a little pocket I made, sewed around, and put a little tag that's been in my stash forever in there. And that's the Mommy Rose. And another tuck spot. I love that one too. That's so cute the way it turned out. And I put these two in there. And on the back fabric pocket. These are some file folders that um, Trina found at Tuesday mornings. And I put this one in here. You could glue this down and make a tuck spot. Or you can sew some paper inside and use it as another little booklet. You can do so many things with this stuff. And that is my number three little chunky monkey. Thank you so much for watching. I will be having quite a few of these actually coming up because until I get it all used up, I'm going to make these because they're super duper fun. And I hope y'all try it out too to use up your stash before you get new stuff. And I'm laid off right now, so I am figured I will use my stash up before I go spending money because <laughs> I get laid off like a couple months out of the year. For the summer so and that's time i get to spend with my grandchild too so yeah have a great day and hope you enjoy my little d stash journals and thank you so much for watching have a great day bye bye